Hi there, this is Anastasia Hollis, aka Coach Ace. Welcome to Ace and Riches Freedom by Design's YouTube channel. The place to come to learn how to make money online because no one teaches digital marketing like Ace and Rich. Thank you so much for stopping by this video today. If it's your first time here, be sure to click the subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a beat when we go live. Now, in today's video topic, what are we going to talk about or even show you? I'm going to do a tutorial. That's right. I'm going to show you how I use the scheduler in Facebook and how you can schedule your Facebook post in Facebook. Now, here's the thing. What if as you're building a business online, you don't have a lot of time to make a post for the day or maybe a series of posts because you probably have to go away, travel, or perhaps you don't feel so good. I've been there. There have been times where I actually had those moments and I actually am able to leverage the scheduler in Facebook. Now, for those of you who don't know where this feature is, I'm going to show you right now where to find it and do a demonstration and show you step by step how to make a scheduled post in Facebook. I'm also going to talk about the do's and don'ts. Okay. So number one, make sure that when you log into your Facebook profile, that you have a Facebook business page or a Facebook group that you admin. These are the only two places that you're able to use the scheduler feature because your Facebook personal profile does not allow you to schedule your posts on Facebook. So remember that. Okay. Definitely wanted to let you know that ahead of time. I learned the hard way. Okay. Now let's take a look at how to schedule the Facebook post. So what we're going to do is we are actually here within our freedom by design, our Facebook business page. This is our Facebook fan page. And as you can see right here where it says, write a post, this is known as the timeline wall. Now in the timeline wall, this is where you actually type out your text, write out your descriptions and put in your post. When you use the scheduling feature, it's really important that you write everything out first or upload what you need to upload, such as videos, images, or gifts of any sort, then you can use the scheduler feature. So for this demonstration, let's go and grab a picture. Let's click over here where it says photo slash video, and we're going to go ahead and grab a photo. Click on upload photos, and I'm going to grab a photograph. So I'm going to grab this photograph right here, click open. There it is. Get it to upload. Now I'm going to put a short description. I'm just going to put this as a test so you can see that it is a test. And once you're done this down below over here where it says share now, you're going to click on the little gray arrow drop down. Now you're going to see some selections. It says schedule, backdate and save draft. We're going to go over the scheduler. So let's use schedule. Now what you're going to do is make sure that there's a check mark in where it says publication. That way you can select the date and time in the future for when you want to post to publish to your wall. Now, right here, you have the calendar and you have the timestamp. So when you select the calendar, you can choose which day you like the post to go out. It could go out within 24 hours, but it cannot go out the day of, especially if it's too close with the time, because you'll see it all grayed out. So for today's date, it is June 14, 2019. As you can see, it's grayed out. Therefore, it's already too late to schedule a post, but you can schedule this post for tomorrow. Okay. So what you can do is you can click over here in the timestamp. And what I like to do is I'll type in the hour. So I'll put in 07 for seven o'clock. So I'm going to put seven o'clock PM. Now, if you want it to be AM and you want it to go first thing in the morning, you hit the A on your keyboard or the P for the PM on your keyboard. Got that? So we could do AM. So we want this post to go out at 7 AM, not 7 PM. And notice how it says EDT. Now this is for Eastern daytime. Now this is where it can get a little tricky because depending on internationals, if you're watching this tutorial and listening to my voice, make sure you understand that when you log into your account and you do schedule posts, it's going to go according to your time zone. 
okay but if you're working a specific market and you're working in the english market more like tier one you know english speaking countries united states make sure internationals that what you do is you schedule the hour from your time zone to equal to the hour of what it is in the united states so if you know what time it is 7 a.m in the u.s then what is it going to be your time in your time zone to schedule on the schedule make sense okay great um don't worry about right here and just go and click schedule now what it's going to do it's going to actually have your information saved and you have to take one more step once you're done you click on this blue button that says schedule post now let's go and click that after you've clicked on schedule post what will happen is it's going to populate and this is what you're going to see this little gray box with a clock icon inside. It says one scheduled post. Schedule for tomorrow at 7 a.m. See post. So now, let's say, for example, you had a series of these. Let's say you wanted to map up the whole week or maybe the whole month or maybe the whole year if you're crazy. Okay, I'm a little crazy. So I probably do just about three months worth of work in case I've got to go away for a vacation. This is awesome. A great way to save and you know save time and leverage you know there are a lot of things online that you could actually pay for and services I've heard of you know different social uh, platforms like uh, you know Hootsuite or you know or Edgar these are different things that you pay for when you have the money and you can buy into those those things their third-party sites and use them for Facebook but I don't recommend them honestly I like doing it this way this is where I put my personal touch to it but if my account does get to that point where I it's out of control I need a manager to do it then I'll just go ahead and use one of those services but for now for this particular tutorial I want to teach you from a beginner standpoint so if you're new to online marketing this is what I'm recommending that you do use the schedule post to schedule out your videos schedule out your success quotes you know if you put out success quotes pictures images gifts anything you can schedule any of those posts out even your events so what we're going to do is click on see post and right here where it says see post you're going to see the history it will show you the history of where the post is now let's say for example you have a typo what are you going to do then click on the post right here in the see post and now you see the three dots click on the three dots and what it's going to do is going to open up the post and you're able to edit okay so we're going to click on the dot and we see edit post and there you go you can go ahead and backspace fix it and put in what you need to put in okay got that good once you're done hit done editing it automatically saves you don't have to do anything and just back out just get right out of it and go back to your facebook page okay now let's say you're an admin of a facebook group let's say you have a couple of groups that you admin for your business or your your company or organization or team what you want to do is schedule some posts right let's say you got a big meeting coming up and or facebook live you're going to do this is a great way to do this go to your facebook group so i'm going to go pick one of mine let's go over here to my little shortcuts and let's say i'm going to pick out my wake up and prosper group okay so here's my wake up and prosper group now this is my test group right here so what i'm going to do is i'll put in a post this is a second test right and now i'm going to upload for this test let's say a video right watch this so i'm going to put this video in here i'm going to grab the video file you want to make sure you have the video file once it uploads give it a few minutes it's going to upload now what we're doing in this test is let's say you got a video you want to share right a video testimonial maybe some case studies right or maybe your video right so after you do this you're going to go to the scheduler right down here it says schedule post notice how it looks a little different in the groups so you're going to go over here again timestamp and, and the calendar click the calendar and we're going to put it for tomorrow okay and again like i said once you click for the next day you can go and select the timestamp. let's say you want it to go at 7 a.m 07 7 o'clock again if you want to leave this at a.m you have it at a if you want it p.m you press the letter p on your keyboard and that will change the timestamp to p.m so let's say it's a, a meeting seven o'clock or maybe you want this to go out exactly at 7 p.m let's say we want it at 7 p.m tomorrow schedule after you're done it's going to populate give it a few seconds once it's done 
Now you're going to see it says the video in your post is being processed. We'll send you a notification when it's done and your post is ready to view. So click the little gray X, give it a few minutes, let it do its thing. But you get the pretty much the point, right? That's exactly how you would do it. So let's recap what we talked about. If you try to schedule posts in your profile, it's not going to happen. There are no features in your profile that will allow you to schedule your posts. They don't have it like that. Facebook has changed a lot and they don't allow you to schedule posts in your profile. So that's the don't. What you want to do is you use a Facebook business page. So use your Facebook fan page, Facebook business page, how you have it, and you can do scheduled posts there. You also can do scheduled posts in any of the Facebook groups that you admin. So let's go over here and let's click on our test group, Wake Up and Prosper. There it is right there. It says one scheduled post you have pending, scheduled for tomorrow, see post. Now you're gonna see the history of the post. There's a sampling of it. And if you ever make a mistake and you want to edit, click on the drop down and hit edit post. So did you get value from today's video? I know you did. So just make sure that you actually try what I just showed you. Use the scheduler, create your posts, and really enjoy the time freedom that you can have just by utilizing certain features on Facebook you didn't even know that was there, and now you know. And post your comments below this video. I'd love to hear how these things are working for you, okay? So other than that, thank you so much for stopping by this video. And with that being said, be sure to click the subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss a beat when we go live. And as well, if you're looking for a way to make money online and understand how affiliate marketing works and learn how you can actually set yourself free and fire your boss like I did, be sure to click the link below this video. It'll take you to a page where you enter in your best email address and it will take you to our number one recommended program. My name is Anastasia Halls, better known as Coach Ace, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.